Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. Um, I've had several requests to come back and do the faceted heart charm with the wings. So, um, that's what I'm going to do right now. I've got a small black, I'm going to show you a comparison how small I'm working on this time. A small black faceted heart, and this has not been um, baked yet. It's still raw clay. I've got two little if I can grab a hold of them two little gold bales that I made with some gold head pins I'm going to make this one a connector top where it's going to have a bale at the top and at the bottom so something can dangle from underneath I've got a piece of gold this is gold um, primo effects primo accents primo accents this is gold primo accents and I've just rolled it out on basically a medium thickness on my pasta machine. Or my, let's make an educated guess here. <laughs> let's not go. Yeah, there it is. This is about two millimeters. About a two millimeter thickness. And I've just rolled out a long. What I'm going for is double the length of my wings, because I'm going to cut this in half. Ish. Alright. I'm going to stack those two. Let's flip around. <laughs> stack these two on top of each other. Just to give a double thickness, I don't want to squish these together because I'm going to separate them uh, back apart again. Now go with whatever your natural inclination is when when uh, sketching. When, in other words, if I was going to draw a wing, this would be more natural to me than to do the left one. So I'm going to flip it this way so I can do the right one. And if you're more comfortable, by all means, draw you a uh, draw you a pattern. Let's see if I got a wing pattern right here somewhere. Something like this. Now this, of course, is way too big for what I'm going for, but sketch it out on paper and then fussy cut it out, and then just lay it on the clay and trace around it or cut around it. So I want my exacto knife, my craft knife, but I'm going to start with my clay blade, Samson, I swear, he's getting to where if he hears the camera, he hears me talking in here, he's going to come in here and bug me, aren't you baby, <laughs> I love you, you're so cute, but go on, I'm just going to do an inside rounded corner there, this is for the up sweep where the wing comes off the off the heart. And then we're I think I may leave that now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Show you again real quick. The little up sweep. And then you're gonna have the long turning down edge. Like that. And this is where my craft knife is going to come in. And feel free to uh, sketch it with a with a ball tool or a needle tool. Let's get it out here so that you can see what I'm trying to achieve. Samson, I mm -mm. cut it out. You're bugging me, buddy. So this is just a simple wing. It's going to be much smaller. Yeah, so I'm saying. <laughs> may or may not turn out to be true. And then just follow your pattern. Trust me, much easier to do when you're not looking around the camera. Alright. Now, before I separate these, I'm going to hold it up to my heart and see what I think. What I think 
is that it is a little bit too big still. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh. I know you can hardly see him, but there's my baby. Okay, sorry about that. He's my little rescue doggy. He was a tiny, tiny puppy when somebody dumped him off on my on my neighbor's street. Like like we do, she lives on a long cul-de-sac, and our road is like a mile long, and we live down at the end of it, that country road. So I cut these down just a little bit more. That's about what we're going for. actually going to sharpen that angle right there just a little bit. Sorry for my arm being in the way. I cut this angle back a little sharper. That'll let the wings stand up a little higher. Alright. And I'm going to cut off that last little feather. And you're just gonna keep tweaking it until you get it the way you, the way you want. I'm wanting them not to stick out quite as far as the as the other ones did. Oh, that's gonna be good right there. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going for. Alright. Then the only other thing I did was to take my same old double-ended ball tool here. And this is going to be on gold, so it's probably going to be a little difficult to see. Let's see what I can do about zooming in maybe a little. Really focus. Now, let's see if it'll focus good enough. Alright, I'm going to take the small end, so at the beginning, to sketch out, you want to start with your main feather, and I should have said that when I was cutting it out, I usually start with the main lead feather, and that's going to be where your most detail is. Every feather behind that is going to tuck behind that lead feather, and have a little less detail. So start by... highlighting that first leaf first leaf first feather <laughs> and then I'm gonna just do a little bit de of detail here on the edge again if I can show you that right here we have the top thickness of the wing and the feathers coming out from underneath so then go ahead and just sketch in the other feathers. Like that. Alright. Then I'm going to take the big end. I'm just going to soften and deepen just a little bit that detail. A little bit of a smooth. I'll do that to all of them. And again, since we're trying to give that illusion of these feathers being behind this feather, I'm going to do the same thing along this line. Like that. That looks a little crude. Alright, you get the idea. Around that edge out a little bit and all of these forward facing edges. I just don't like that bit. Cut it off. Oh, that's better. Alright. Then again with your small end 
you're going to give your feather a center seam. And if you'll look at a lot of feathers, the seam won't be right down the center. It'll be to one side or the other. So then just guesstimate. You'll only have a small bit showing of the center seam on the other feathers. Right. Then I'm just going to give some downward sweeping. Okay. One more time. But then I'm going to do the same thing in the opposite, uh, on the opposite side. Let's see, can you see that? And then you're going to do the same thing on all of the feathers. But of course, most of them past the first feather won't have very much showing to add detail to. And then up here at the top, what I'll do is I'll just put some continued rows of little scallops to represent small feathers. Like that. And then I would just do the exact same thing to the other wing. off a little bit. Draw all these other feathers. Go with the bigger end of my tool and just kind of deepen those areas. Feather it out a little bit. I'm just trying to make those definitions between the feathers and between the top and the feathers a little deeper than just these surface decorations. And because the feather is uh, the feather, because the wing itself is not your main feature. It's a feathered heart. The heart is actually the main feature. Your main focus when you're looking at it won't be the wing anyway. Okay. Just like that. Now, of course, I have done other uh, wings work. I've done each feather an individual cutout and detailed feather also and that's a <laughs> that's a whole nother video let me tell you so you can do the same thing to the back side or you could do some sort of texturing on the back side texture stamp something to that effect but right now to help us do that if we can without smushing without smushing too much of our detail just a little something something right. and then they'll have a little bit of a spiral design on the back raw still raw I'm gonna stick this where basically where I want it but here's something that will help a little bit is to curve just slightly that meeting edge
and see it'll help it fit just a little bit better all right and then position the, the wing where you want and this is another one of those that goes um, with the same rule that if you start with your left or whatever's opposite for you I'm right-handed so left is going to be opposite for me so if I start with the left wing your eye more readily balances that right wing because you're right-handed so start with your opposite when you're doing eyes um, halves of lips anything like that start with whatever's your opposite and I'm just going to take this small end and feather this little meeting edge into the into the heart so I'm feathering the gold into the heart it looks like a little weld I'm going to flip it over and do the exact same thing like that okay and after you've got it welded on there decide on your shape that you want for your wing and of course they could just stick straight out they don't have to have any shape at all if you don't want them to all right I'm going to take the other one and like I said just use your eye no need to measure. And just approximate because of course the, not only is the heart not symmetrical, but your facets aren't the same on either side. Start with attaching it just a little bit top and bottom to make it a little easier. And just feather it in. Just like that. Alright. Then you can take, if you don't really care for that look, and just smooth it out just a little bit. this way. Alright, at this point you can put your veil top and bottom and you're ready to put it in the oven or put some Perlex powders on or whatever you're finishing if you want to finish it before baking it is going to be. So again, I showed this in the last one but real quick. I like to use my craft knife just because it distorts the clay just a little bit less. <laughs> yeah. Stick that bell down in there. This black clay is pretty sticky, so it sticks to itself pretty readily. You won't have that on all clays, but you just want to coax that slit back together. And because this clay is so sticky and it's so hot in here, I don't like to run my air conditioner while I'm videoing it because it's pretty loud. Oh, cool. 
this is what this is a color shaper brand um, silicone tip and it's a firm tip now <laughs> because it is so warm in here I've got fingerprints and mushed my facets and all kinds of goodies had gold stuck to my knife and you name it alright so there we go and then just like the other one like I said you can dust it with Perlex powders and then go back and um, sand it off let's see what we can do about this I like a little better shape And because I bake on a layer of polyfill, I'll have my polyfill um, cradle that heart just a little bit to help with the shape, just like with this one. And it's, as you can see, this is a big, this is a big heart. It'll make a big pendant. And so curving the wings helped a little bit, or they would have stuck out even further. So, all right, off to the oven. And uh, I'll come back in another video and show this finished. I started another video yesterday doing these little uh, kind of like word sticks. This one's going to say peace. This one has love down here. And of course it's just a rubber stamp into some into some clay and then whatever finish that you're wanting to do this is the one I did in the video and it's got um, embossing powder on it so I'll try to finish that video um, my BFF uh, stopped by yesterday and right in the middle of my filming the video so I totally have lost train of thought and stuff but I'll try to go back and pick that up and finish that um, video uh, these right here are going to work in in combo. So, all right, that's it for this one. Winged, faceted heart. So, all right, I shall holler at y'all later. Bye now.